so in this part two uh, of the main stage tutorials, we're going to be talking about splits, layers, and dynamic layers. There's a few little tips and tricks uh, here that are going to speed up your programming and can really make it easier while you're playing in the show. So I've got a brand new concert here. I've saved it as show one. So let's can create a new patch. So I've got an untitled patch here. If I now select new set from selection, I'll have a set with that patch in. I'll rename this uh, set song one or whatever the first song in the show is. And then we have a set and we continue to add patches in this set and they'll stay in this set uh, until uh, we create a new set from a different patch. Let's uh, just get our first patch set up. So following on from my first video, and as I was explaining uh, back then, to create a new patch, you can select your instrument from down here. Just select a simple piano, grand. There we are. And there, all of your parameters for the plugins are all preset to that instrument, um, just to create the best sort of starting sound for you then to sculpt further to what you need. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's try adding a layer. So more often than not, you'll need more than one layer in one sound uh, for a show. So we'll go to channel strips and we're going to insert an instrument channel strip. And we're going to want them on keyboard one and the output that we're set at. So now we have our second channel strip. Now you can again go into the channel strip library and select this again. I find it easier to just go from here in the settings. So let's add, say, some strings there. So we've got piano and strings. Gone for the full strings. And then it doesn't actually add the reverb buses and the reverb effects on, but we can just uh, do them as they were with the first channel strips, we get the same sort of sound. There we are. The strings on its own. We now have our two layers. You can do some things with these layers. Uh, you can have them both play together from one keyboard input, or we can select layers for a split. Now, there's a few ways uh, that you can do this. You select the layer that you want to change, and you can either set the higher keys using this. Uh, you can use a bit more precise with the this. You can use MIDI Learn. You can click learn, and on your keyboard, you can press the key that you want to set to the highest point, and then low, you can set the lowest point there. Or you can drag these colored bars here. So say we want strings on top, piano on the bottom. You drag these to here, set that up to there, go piano on the bottom, Strings at the top. And that's how you create your split layers. Simple enough. The next thing uh, is a sort of dynamic layer. So it's quite often that I'll have parts where I'll need different articulations of an instrument in one section. And to save me having patch after patch after patch of staccatos and legatos and pizzicatos and all that sort of thing, you can put them into one patch that responds dynamically to velocities and how, how hard you're playing the keys. So let's go into our second patch here and let's choose brass. We'll just go full brass. And then we want a second one of these. We can insert an instrument as we did before with the strings, but a quicker way here just to do it is to command D and it will duplicate it with all the settings. Uh, we'd have to put those in again. Now if we open up EXS24, this is the plugin, the virtual instrument that's been used for the samples for the brass. At the moment we're on full brass plus, which just means there's a few different articulations uh, that we can use on the smart controls. Uh, you can map those to your keyboard, but if we want to do it without as, uh, you know, without as many MIDI controls as possible, we can open this up and go into here. Let's choose staccato for this. 
and we'll rename this Brass Staccato. We'll rename this one Brass Legato. And then as we did before, just go into the plugin and just choose our Legato patch. So here we are. We now have our Staccato plays at the start. Legato carries on through there. Two different layers there, two different samples. What we want to do is have a higher velocity, so the harder you press the key, the staccato will play, and the softer you press, the legato will play. So it's very simple, very simple way to do this. So we just select the staccato channel strip. We want that to play with a harder velocity. So if we set this velocity minimum to 100, like that, and if we go to our legato patch, and we set the maximum to 99, we now have our legato from velocities 1 to 99, and our staccato from velocity 100 to 127. When we play it, we play it gently, so only the legato channel is outputting. We play hard, you'll get the staccato. We've got a bit of the legato there, but the harder you play it, the less legato. What we'll find now with the staccato is we're having to hit it so hard it's clipping and it's not really proportionate to the legato. So the way to fix this, select your staccato channel and go to MIDI input and velocity input under velocity scaling. So this is your graph where you've got your input velocity down here and your output velocity down the side. So at the moment, it's, uh, it's equal. We've got one to one, so whatever input velocity we do on the keyboard, it will output at the same level. And what we want to do is take the output velocity down. So the harder you play, it will still average around mid velocity. What that's gonna do is if we hit it really hard, it's now a lot softer and it's corresponding much more to the legato patch. So there's a simple way for you to create your dynamic layers. You can do that with your brass, you can do it with your strings. The change between your Arco strings and your Pixicato strings, you can do it with so many other things, I mean, even instruments that don't correspond to each other, just to create a patch that does lots of different things at once. So that is dynamic layers. So that's where we're gonna leave it for today. I'm gonna to move on to talking about inputting your own samples into EXS uh, and creating your own patches from your own samples and an easier way of doing harp glisses uh, with pedals uh, which can crop up from time to time. So thanks for watching.